Hello everyone, my name is Unspox Logic and welcome back to Love and Romance, A Study of Intimacy. This will be part 3. Um, in the last one we got to our cabin and we got a nice little um, nice little story down about uh, Gerald and Jasmina. Um, you know, been working on our, um, our sex writing so things seem to be going pretty well. And um, yeah, it's night time and we're in the cabin with Lee. Everything seemed perfect and helped accentuate the romance between Gerald and Jasmina tenfold. I smiled as I read over what I wrote before closing my computer and letting out a yawn. Alright, time for bed. I quickly left the front room and entered the bedroom, shedding my clothes and changing into sleepwear. As I crawled into bed, the idea of my growing story slowly crept into my thoughts and plagued my mind. I was just starting. Who knew where this progress was going to go? I was bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for the second day of work. My laptop was up and I was already digging right into the next section of the scene. Oh wow, again. Gerald and Jasmina let their lips dance against each other as Jasmine, Jasmina ran her hands along his smooth and muscular chest. Her fingers ran along each curve, each crevice, and memorised every detail of the man she came to adore. No words could even be spoken between them as they let their mouths softly su succumb to each other's desires. The heat in the air slowly rose as Gerald pressed forward, slowly tempting his princess to make the kiss that much deeper. I stopped and began to pick at my lip. I was really focused on the kiss, that I began to imagine it on myself, wondering how it would feel. The curse of writing was that you had to emulate realism. <coughs> The curse of writing was that you had to emulate realism in fiction, even if it was involved fantasy or made-up science. It had been kissless. It it. I had been kissless for years, writing, focused on writing and never on love. I was. It was ironic to say the least, as I wrote romance novels and really good ones at that. I had written kisses before in my stories, but never thought of the difference between a kiss and a gateway towards making love. There was a level of intimacy that exceeded love that became that came with kissing before sex. I slowly realised how in-depth I was reading into it and shook my head. Gah! Stop it! It's just a kiss! I rubbed my head and crossed my legs, lounging on the couch. It was just a kiss. Everyone did it, and it wasn't a big deal. Even before sex, kisses are simply kisses, right? There had been stories of sex where the couple didn't even lock lips once. Hey, what's going on? Oh, wow, of course. Of course he has his top off. I looked up to see Lee appearing out of his room. What made me mildly red in the face was the fact that he was shirtless. Um, wasn't a big, it wasn't a big deal. I wasn't interested in him. It was surprisingly interesting. It, it was surprisingly interesting. I had never seen him shirtless, but as I did then, I became a little fascinated with the surprise. I wasn't... It wasn't attracting me sexually, but the thought of seeing him in a new way was interesting. I began to wonder what other things I would become introduced to. A new laugh, a new smile, or anything that wasn't Lee the manager. It was kind of cute to imagine. Lee continued to look at me, waiting for me to explain what was wrong. I shook my head, shaking the silly ideas from my mind, and answered that last. I'm writing a kiss, but I'm conflicted. Is the kiss just a kiss or more when it comes to sex? Besides, how do I even describe a difference? I realised the words that came out of my mouth and held my head. Oh my god, I sound like a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Lee chuckled a bit before sitting on one of the empty chairs. Well, kissing can stimulate sexual desire. Yeah, it just depends on what they're doing. I looked at the laptop, seeing the words on the page. It was a slowly building kiss, but how to let it make sense to scene was a conflict. I didn't want to write anything unnatural or forced, but the scene had to get somewhere. Sensing my insecurity of the situation, Lee shifted in his seat and caught my attention. Gerald and Jasmina, right. Start them off slow, then let Gerald guide Jasmina towards making the kiss deeper. Jasmina is shy, so she'd naturally follow along until it becomes too much. Right. I stared at Lee, understanding what he meant. However, a thought crossed my mind. How would Gerald guide her without it sounding like he was forcing himself on her? How, sh how would she react? For a moment, I thought about Lee kissing me to test how we would do it. I, d I don't know why. I, d I didn't know why. The thought just popped into my head without a trace of a reason why. Was it even a good idea? He didn't say that he would help me. Uh, he did say that he would help me. Um, Kiss me. 
Lee stared wide at me, shocked at the idea. I felt myself blush at the idea as well, but I tried to put logic behind my request. I needed to test my thoughts and see for myself what Jasmina would feel. It, it's for research. You'll be Gerald and I'll be Jasmina. Lee continued to stare, a small tint of pink running a lot along his cheeks. It was kind of adorable to see him blush like that. My heart skipped a beat and Lee, as Lee eventually stood up from his seat and knelt in front of me, face to face with me. I stared deep into his eyes, realising what I had just asked him to do, and seeing him actually go through with my request. He was my manager, then again, he said he would help me. As he began to lean in, I felt blood rush into my head, causing my face to warm and settle into a shy red hue. He stopped, waiting for me to come forward on my own accord. Kiss him. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna kiss him. I sat, I, I sat legal. gulped. I was re really going to do this. I was going to kiss my manager. This was insanity, but it was going to happen. Pucker up. Oh, okay, so this is like the sex thing, is it? Yeah, that's why we've got the stock there. I leaned forward and felt my lips soft pressly against his, taking in his scent as I inhaled. A hint of cologne and deodorant hit my nose, but I be became too enraptured in the kiss to really care. I, pl I shyly placed my hands on his shoulders, feeling his bare skin beneath my fingers and palms. He was warm and his skin felt so smooth, so smooth to the touch. He took care of himself well. I closed my eyes and let myself take in the kiss instead of gushing over these new details. As we pressed our lips together, my mind felt frantic, desperate to find a way to describe what was going on. Crazy? Beautiful? Unnatural? There were so many thoughts that ran through my mind, but the gentle brush of Lee's, Lee's lips erased each one as they came. I felt Lee slowly wrap an arm around my waist and cup my cheek with his free hand, slow enough for me to register and take in so we wouldn't take in so I wouldn't jump in surprise. His hands were shaking slightly. Like, was he nervous to touch me? Was he? My heartbeat began to accelerate as I gently cradled his head in my t in my hands, melting further into the kiss and letting the moment sink into my mind. As I let out a small breath through my nose, Lee did as well in perfect synth. Sink. My heart skipped silently at the slightly at the event. Lee gently pressed forward, pushing further against my lips and running his hand along the side of my head to rest my, on my cheek. I almost naturally understood the silent gesture as a question. Can I please do more? As if by instinct, I knew the answer I would give. My mind was still there, monitoring everything and memorizing the feelings and emotions running through my body. But I was able to get into this practice and let my carnal emotions decide. I pressed back letting an extremely soft moan escape my throat and echo out of my nose like a hum. My fingers tensed slightly, shuddering a bit at both my nervousness and the feeling rushing through my veins. I could feel Lee's lips curve a bit into a smile against mine. Was he happy that I allowed him? Was he enjoying it as much as I undoubtedly was? I felt him gently nibbling my no lower lip, sending a small shiver up my spine. I could feel myself slowly lose control of my thoughts as I felt him take my lower lip between his and ever so slightly lick over it. Dear God, how was this man able to make me squirm? Jesus, okay, this is gonna, this is gonna, like, you know, shoot off soon, isn't it? <laughs> my mind instantly became filled with desires. I didn't think to imagine. I pictured him guiding me onto the couch and us getting lost in a kiss. We'd moved to the sensual foreplay and a hot night of sex. I began to desire what he'd look like under his pants. <laughs> how was this happening? A mere kiss was able to do this? Maybe I really was naive in the way of romance. Maybe there was much I still had to learn. I was getting ahead of myself. I needed to calm down and take this seriously. Maybe then I would not imagine Lee ravishing me. I slightly opened my mouth, allowing him access to it. My mind strictly, strictly focused on learning, as even as Lee slowly guided his tongue into my mouth and prodded mine, I shivered at the feeling, clutching to Lee slightly as I rubbed my tongue against his in return. Lee let out a groan at, of his own at the sensation. I felt a little elated and that he was enjoying the kiss as well. He cupped the back of my head and moved a bit closer to me, pressing his hips, hips against my knees. However, before we could have gone further, Lee guided his face back, staring deep into my eyes. Huh? With the warmest smile I'd ever seen on Lee's face, Lee lowered my head slowly and kissed the top of my head. That's enough. What? My heart shuddered. That was all? That was really it? I wanted more. I felt my body wanting 
to pull him back into another kiss, but my mind took control and simply nodded. That was enough, I had, I had learned a lot. I took in a breath of air as Lee stood and nodded. As he turned, however, I could barely catch him licking and biting his lower lip. The blush that was painted across my cheeks intensified at the action, but as soon as but as, as he turned completely around, I shook my head and mentally scolded myself. Enough shenanigans, get back to work. I cleared my throat and activated my voice speech again on my laptop, shakily continuing on. Gerald and Jasmina indulged within each other's embrace, within their lips dancing together. Jasmina's touch lit the nerves in Gerald's body on fire, heating the passion and spirit within 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 him. The princess, had had, the princess had truly trained her knight to submit to her every word and her every touch. Jasmina, on the other hand, felt her mind dive completely into chaos. She wasn't sure what to feel. Happy? Excited? Shy? Everything came at her at once in Gerald's arms, and she didn't dare let any of it go. It all became an intoxicating mix of emotions that made her feel high. She didn't want to let it go, she didn't want to drown in them even more. No, she didn't want to let it go, she wanted to drown in them even more. Her heart began to do flips in her chest. Was this okay? Was this something she was allowed to indulge in? For the moment, she didn't care. In a moment of temporary need, Jasmina pulled away from Gerald, clutching his chest as she panted for air. Her mind began to slow down, taking in everything and affirming her desire. She wanted more. Gerald, more. Oh wow. I stared at the page, unbelie unbelieving what I was saying and essentially, and essentially writing. I took a breath and continued forward, knowing that the story had to move, and so did they. Gerald nodded, gently kissing his love on the lips before gently peppering kisses along her cheek and down her neck. A quiet and shy moan escaped Jasmina's lips, causing the red blush across her face to intensify. Never had she, had she done that, but it, was, it would not be the last time. I felt mildly uncomfortable. My mind began to focus on the action between Gerald and Jasmina. Why was I getting so flustered over a fictional scene? Was it because this could have been me and Lee? My face flushed a bit. It was possible, but I didn't want to think about that. Our kiss was a practice run, an experiment for me. A mere collision and indulgence of... Of what? Of passion? Of lust? Of romance? I knew it too well for my books to be ignorant of it. That kiss was more than just our lips locking. It was much... It was something much more, and I felt it in my gut. Gerald's lips felt like a butterfly dancing over Jasmina's chocolate skin. She revealed in the feelings... She reveled? Revealed? Revealed in the feelings he was creating in her, and she hoped to continue on. As if he were reading her mind, he gently let the tip of his tongue run along her collarbone, drawing a line up to the bottom of it. Uh, Gerald... Whoa, okay. Another moon escaped her lips. Forcing Jasmine, Jasmina to tilt her head back, he, her beloved crown, one she wore with great pride, slid from her curly locks and bounced off the, off the mattress behind her onto the floor, soon to be forgotten for a time. I had to stop. I was so focused on it, I could feel the passion pour off of the computer screen. At least I was allowed to say so far so good. Hell, it was going better than I expected. I, I forced myself to go through what I had written in unedited what I could. I added more focus on Gerald and Jasmina's thoughts as I painted the kiss like a picture with my words. The more I stared, the more I could imagine Lee and I replacing the, official cu the fictional couple perfectly. I shook my head violently. Stop it, Amelia. I went to bed that night, wondering and hoping to finish this day soon. This practice was becoming much more interesting by the day. The third day of being in the cabin, however, was full of me slamming my head against the metaphorical wall. I was getting nowhere and fast, having to rewrite the section over and over and not being satisfied. The day before, I was fine, but something was off now. Every writer usually hits some sort of block in their creative process, but this was detrimental de detrimental to my practice. I didn't want to let myself all lead down. Alright guys, so I'm going to leave this video here. Um, Hopefully you guys are enjoying the story so far. I know this is going to take, um, you know, it's taken up quite a lot of time and, you know, a few videos, but I'm trying not to make the video so long for you guys. Um, but yeah, I do hope you are enjoying this very rich story. Hey, we got a, we got, we got a little kiss off Lee, so, you know, who knows, in the next episode we, we may get more. We may end up like the two characters in, in the book that we're writing, but thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.